So let's see what else she sent. She sent 3070 Travis Road, Memphis. Okay, so this one's got a little more equity. This one's got 52,000 in equity. Let's see if we can figure out where it is. Non kind of. So this looks like down in the Hickory Hill area. Let's see if I'm even close. Oh no, this is going to be in the White Haven area, it looks like. Uh, yes, I think this is in the White Haven area. White Haven, Graceland, okay. So, all right. South Memphis and White Haven. So we'll just do more White Haven because it's south of 55. All right, so let's check out the details. Let's see what we got. Single family off market, not distressed. Individual owner, it's vacant, it's financed. It's two bedroom, one bathroom house built in 1960. So Carlos Smith. Uh, yeah, so this this actually might be something worth taking a closer look at. I mean, it's uh, $52,000 on the value. Equity is $52,000. 724 on a monthly rent. The thing that concerns me about this property is the building condition says unsound. I'm really not sure what that means. And then building quality, it's a D, it's a D plus. So, uh, you know, it's almost a C. Why, why would it be a D plus? What's making it a D plus? I really don't know. Uh, It's got an unspecified basement. Composition shingle. Built in 1960. 720 square feet. Anytime there's a condition of unsound, it's probably best just to steer clear that property, which is ultimately what I think uh, I decided on this one. Looks like he bought it in 2018 for $750. Quick claim deed. So he bought it really cheap, I mean. And I wonder what he's trying to sell it for now. I don't know. Um, it might be worth talking to this guy. I mean, he's got over $50,000 in equity here. Um... You know, it's vacant. He's just paying taxes on it. This was over, yeah. This was uh this was down in the uh White Haven area. Let me just go get right down here in the street. Okay. Let's 
kind of a trashy neighborhood. There's some vacant houses around here. There's some abandoned houses in this neighborhood. There's abandoned houses in this neighborhood. All these houses are abandoned. So this is, okay, this is $750. I don't know if I wanna mess with this or not. Everything around it is vacant. These houses, are, people are living in these houses. I don't know what's going on on this end. Somebody's living in this house. But then these, this, these two look vacant. These two are vacant. Let's go see what's down the street. I like to pick up, these are the types of houses I like to pick up. Houses that are more like this right here. Let's see what else is on this street. Okay, so it looks like somebody is living there. Yeah, I mean, it looks like people are living in the rest of these houses. I'm not sure what just happened then. Okay, so the subject property. Okay, so this is a side view of the subject property. Ah. Uh, It's next to a church. Boy, it just seems like a lot of the houses I'm running across are next to churches. I don't I don't know what to make of that. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, boy, I I don't know. This is one of those ones we'll just have to wait and see, but Unsound building condition is unsound, and it, I I just don't think I want to deal with that unsound building condition. I I, I don't know. Seven hundred and fifty dollars. I don't I don't know. He thinks it'll rent for seven twenty four. I mean, if I could come in and pick it up for maybe five thousand, and go in and fix it up. And uh, rent it out for seven twenty four. I mean, that would be a killing. So we'll see. I may call him. This 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 may be a good this may be a good lead after all. I'm I'm gonna have to take a look closer look at this one. We'll see if I can pick it up for really cheap. It may end up being a good lead. Let's see what let's let's go ahead and see. Let's run some comps on this property. Let's see. Um. So let's go to details and comparable and nearby listings. So it looks like we got 10 comps, no flips in the area. Um, Kind of the layout of your comps. So if we take the highest price ones, well, we only got photos of two. We got a 79 and a 64. These are both, well, one of them is a two bedroom, one is a three bedroom. So let's see, 570, 65, 84, half a mile. So property class, let's do residential. residential and 
bathrooms we'll do well bedrooms we'll do two we'll do two bedrooms we'll see bathrooms one bathroom and bathrooms we'll do one bathroom public record let's just do financed and property type we'll do single family and what year was this one 1960 I think was the year year bill so our comps are all here okay so most of these comps are three bedrooms we only got two two bedrooms and they're both pretty close one of them sold for 19 a square foot the other one sold for 88 a square foot and both within half a mile so these are comps number four and five Comps number four and five. So four and five. Let me just see where those are. Okay, so not too far away. I mean, a little bit closer to, a little bit further away from this rail yard, rail yard up top. So hmm. Okay. Let's see. So what did comp number one sell for? Company number one was a three bedroom that sold for thirty-four thousand. Nineteen sixty-four. Okay. We got five comps here. And none of them have photos. Uh, it would be awesome to have some photos to look at. But let's see on the low end, we got one. We got 15,000 on the high end. We got 78,000. That's a three bedroom. So let's throw out the high. Let's throw out the low. And let's save comps. Okay. And if I refresh it. saved it okay well it saved it saved these it didn't take away these other two but it just saved those and 54,000 let's see 57,000 price per square foot 72.89 so you want to say $73 a square foot our subject property is 720 square feet so Let's see if we multiply. There is our calculator. 720 times 73. 
So we're looking at an ARV of around 52,000. That sounds pretty reasonable. 52,560, prop stream said 52,5697. So if we estimate, if we take out, let's say we spent 35,000 on the construction. 35,000, that puts us at 17.5. Let's do this, let's say clear. Let's say 52.5, clear. 52.5, 52. Let's see, what does she say? Twelve hundred and eighty-eight square feet. Well, clearly it says right here that the property is 720 square feet. I don't know. Okay, two bedroom, 720. He said the house needs, he said whole house needs renovation. Property is vacant. He wants to hear what we can offer. Can reach him at. Okay, so this 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 might not be a bad deal, Carlos Smith. Um, uh, you know, uh, I mean. He only paid seven hundred fifty dollars for it. I mean, I could I could give him fifteen hundred dollars. Would you take fifteen hundred dollars for it? I mean, if I could pick it up for fifteen hundred dollars and rent it, fix it up and rent it, I mean, that, that might be worth doing that. Um, no, that wasn't a side view of it. That was some other property. So, hmm. Well, you know, it needs a new roof. It looks like. Pick it up for fifteen hundred bucks. 3070, 3072. Let's look at the neighbor. Let's just see what's going on with this property next door to it. I'd rather own that one. That's one of the things I do like about prop stream. Sometimes when you are checking out a property, uh, you know, if you if you go ahead and uh, pull up their map feature, take a look at some of the street views. Uh, a lot of times you can see properties that are next door to a property of interest and uh, really just pick up some good deals uh, you know just by seeing what's around the property that you're looking at and so you do have to be a little bit alert and a little bit vigilant when you're using prop stream it just you know it, there's just so many properties in here uh, you know sometimes you you know you may find that diamond in the rough next to a property that for whatever reason has come to your attention so don't sleep on uh, noticing the properties that are adjacent or near the subject property however at the same time you know you don't want to spend a whole lot of time uh, looking for deals certainly you know it's always best to have uh, motivated sellers to deal with motivated sellers that that would just keep you from wasting a lot of your time however when you see something like this it's boarded up uh, you know a lot of times those sellers are motivated so to me it's worth it to spend a little extra time looking at these vacant and boarded up properties uh, you know, sometimes you just find that uh, spending a little bit of extra time will get you that good deal that you're looking for. Look at the details on it. Vacant length of ownership unknown. Shelby County was financed. 
mortgage. It's got zero mortgage. Catherine Gill, she's in Palapu, Washington. Puya Loop, Washington. Two bedrooms, one bath. Building quality is a C. It's got a little bit better building quality and it's a brick veneer. It's a thousand square feet, so it's a little thousand and fifty three hundred square feet, so it's a little bit bigger. So this actually looks, I, I, you know, I, I like this one a little bit more actually. So, you know, uh, 2017 intra family transfer and dissolution. So, uh, 623 is 17. Okay. Market the, the land value on the market is the mar the land value is forty seven hundred improvement market improvement they're saying fifteen thousand is what the tax assessor is saying building condition is poor. Unspecified basement. Okay. Well, this one I think is worth uh, looking into. So we're just going to go ahead and say that property. And we're going to add to group. Create new. I'm gonna call it six. What is today's date? Six twenty three twenty one. Sharia. Um. Shift one. Um, neighboring shift one neighboring neighboring property Sharia neighboring property or we're going to call it 623 Sharia uh, shift one I'm just going to call it a neighboring property. So let's just do that. All right. Serial group one neighboring property. Okay. So we, we may just go ahead and uh, let's see. Let's give it a status. We need to skip trace this one. So it's worth it uh, when you find a property like this just to go ahead and add it to your marketing list. Um, you know, see. reach out to the owner, see if they're interested in selling. You just never really know until you reach out to the owner and just gauge their motivation and see if they're really ready to uh, let these vacant properties get out of inventory or not. Add team, assign team members, full user. All team members assign and we're going to follow up. say vacant out of town out 
out of town, vacant, out of town owner, and um, vacant, out of town owner. And we're only looking at properties with high equity anyway, so I don't need to say anything about that. So it's a vacant with an out of town owner, and it's uh, yeah, vacant out of town owner. We we'll just call it that. Okay, so let's look at some comps on this property. So we got 13 comps, and so this is a two bedroom, one bath. So let's start there, half a mile radius, two bedroom, one bath. Residential. So let's do, uh, let's do MLS comps. MLS residential and we're gonna do a uh, single family we're gonna do bedrooms two bathrooms one So it's two bedrooms. <clears throat> All right, so we got three comps, three MLS comps. One, two for 70,000, one for 55,000. Let's take a look at the pictures and see what they look like. <clears throat> okay. So this one sold for seventy thousand. Okay. It really helps to have the photos. Um, you know, the best way I have found to use this is, you know, look at the price point, look at the photos. You can get a sense of what seventy thousand dollars is going to get you in the area. Uh, you know, a lot of times when you see these comparable sales and you have price ranges that are all over the place, uh, you know, if you don't have photos, it becomes much more difficult. But you know, one of the things I have found is just to take the eliminate the low sales and just assume that they are distressed, and just use the uh, higher sale price point as the ARV. Okay, so you know, this is three bedrooms, two baths. Okay, so for fifty six thousand. So I'm dealing with a with a two bedroom. So I mean, you know, and this is I think this is a pretty nice rehab for this. Let me see. Uh, well, let's just go back to the comps and look at it on the comps. Let's see. Okay. Or look at it on the comps map. All right, well, it's three bedroom house. <clears throat> I think all of these are going to be three bedrooms. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right, so people are fixing these houses up, selling them for 70,000. This one was on the MLS for 141 days. <clears throat> All 
Okay, this one need this one. Hmm. Okay. Three months. Four bedroom, one bath. Nineteen seventy one. Okay. Well. I think it's probably worth reaching out to this person and uh, you know making them an offer it's only two bedrooms it's a thousand and fifty three on the square footage so if we said Let's go back and look at our comps and see how much we're getting per square foot. So <clears throat> these seem like reasonable comps from the MLS and $63 per square foot. So if we did $63 per square foot multiplied times 1,053. So that's actually not bad. Let's see if I can get back to the calculator. One thousand fifty three multiply that times uh thousand fifty three multiply that times what did we say? Sixty three dollars a square foot. So that's gonna give us about 66,000. So we could probably get 66,000 for this property. They got it estimated at 49,000, but it's probably more like 66,000. But these are these are two bedrooms. So if we say 66, even if we take another 5,000 off for the bathroom, still, you're probably still looking at maybe 60,000 for this property. So this might actually be a pretty good deal um so if we did let's say we offered them um, sixty thousand or let's just say we did uh sixty percent of this it's thirty nine thousand. Thirty-nine thousand. We're not gonna offer that. Minus the repair costs. You're talking about another thirty-five thousand in repair costs. Minus. Minus. You're talking about offering them like five thousand dollars for the house. I mean, offer them five thousand. I'll do that. Offer them five thousand dollars. So we're gonna make a note. We're gonna save this property. Did we save this property? Let's go to my properties, and we're gonna um, make a note. We're gonna offer five thousand for this property. do notes uh, I'd rather do something like this in 38127 but you know this is the property that came my way so I wanted to try to uh, edit this there's got to be a way to edit this Okay, stag Titus. We're gonna do 
offer 5,000. Offer 5K. Vacant out of town owner. Offer offer amount 5K. 5K. Apply. ARV 66,000. I did ARV was about 66. ARV was, uh, what did I come up with? ARV. ARV was, ARV equals. Sixty six sixty six K times sixty per cent sixty per cent minus thirty five thousand in construction. Construction equals offer equals five thousand dollar offer amount equals five thousand dollars five thousand offer offer amount offer amount. ARV sixty six thousand Times sixty percent minus a thirty-five thousand dollar construction, five thousand dollar offer amount. So that that uh, we just go with five thousand dollars. So see if they'll take it, or maybe we can do less. I mean, the house next door sold for seven hundred and twenty-five dollars. All right.